Hey everybody, we're back doing mid-journey exploration and um, we got an exciting episode this time. Let's see if we can add this funky pattern to our favorite villain, Darth Vader, and see if we can uh, lighten up his mood a bit. I mentioned last time that we could throw in a URL and that will influence and impact how the final generation comes out. So you throw in your URL, you throw in your prompt, and you can actually influence how the, the picture is going to come out. So we're going to have some fun. I mentioned in the past when you get onto mid-journey that you get thrown into a newbies group and um, and you can start your image generation here. I have my own private group that I like to work with. Um, and so we're going to throw in Imagine. And I'm thinking, let's go Darth Vader. I'm thinking Darth Vader, but I want to make him a little softer, a little more fun. So we're going to end up learning another parameter called tile at the same time as we're doing image uh, prompts. So you, we're, going to, we're going to have fun with this one. Tile prompts, if you just add the word dash dash tile, it will generate for you a seamless pattern that could be, as you see here, it could be, you know, essentially repeated and you shouldn't end up seeing any seams. It will feel like a seamless pattern. So let's see if we can do that. Let's do both. Let's generate an image, some weird pattern, maybe like, you know, I don't know, these tiger stripes and overlay it on Darth Vader to give him a little happier, funner, more, you know, more interesting look. So we're over here. We're going to go first. Let's start with the tile. So let's go fun, pink, blue, yellow. 80s wild paint pattern and let's go right you know i like to use a version 5 you can try to use version 4 if you'd like it will still work i just like the style that 5 gives me and i wrote that double hyphen and the word tile and so it will know to create for me a tile wow these look great i love them i'm gonna go with this you know let's go with this top one because got some white in there or maybe this one you know i like this one down here I'm going to go with the bottom left, which is upscaling three. And now I'm going to right click on it. Let's just give it a second. I'm going to right click. I'm going to, you know, click on and get the link. Uh, let's see. Copy. One second. Where is it? I'm going to copy the image address. And now first we're going to just do a quick trick. We're going to grab that image URL and we're going to check that the pattern is in fact seamless. In Midjourney's documentation, they give us a link to a seamless pattern checker and we're going to try it out ourselves. We're going to jump over to the seamless texture checker and we're going to paste in the URL. And sure enough, look at that. It looks as seamless as I can. That looks totally seamless to me. This looks like a funky 80s website from like, you know, from back in the old days. That looks great. I love it. So let's jump back into Discord. Let's open up the Imagine prompt and let's first paste in our, our image link. Now let's write Darth Vader with a uh, wild expressive, I'm gonna write also, you know, glossy, reflective, photo realistic. I want to look, I want to make it feel real. Let's see if this works. So what I did was I simply pasted in that URL from this image that I got here. You could paste in any URL, it doesn't have to be some specifically from Midjourney, but I got one right here waiting for me. And I wrote Darth Vader, which I think Midjourney will recognize. And then I wrote whatever, you know, thing that I think might work. And let's see if we can get this to work. Oh, and let's say on a dark background, dramatic lighting. Give it a shot. Wow. I mean, these results are pretty incredible. You know, sort of overlaid the pattern and nicely sort of brought it onto his helmet. Like, I mean, his helmet is looking, I mean, this got this has like all these colorful spots on on his on his mask um on his helmet i mean it's definitely looking good <laughs> it looks really nice we can definitely see that it's no question i did not write in here anything about pink or blue or yellow and then as soon as i wrote that and i didn't write this you know paint splatters so it's clearly taking my image and overlaying it just to compare if we would have just taken this and said let's get rid of the url and say with expressive, let's just borrow this fun pink, yellow, 80s wild pattern. Good, colorful. We could have done this too as well. But, you know, what if you want to do in two steps? You really want to kind of fine tune the, the pattern first and then put it over Darth Vader. So then it'd be harder to work with. Wow. Do you see the difference? When we use the image URL, we really get that that real paint look. I mean, like it really took off that pattern and really kind of directly overlaid it and kind of wrapped it around around Darth Vader. But when we just 
inserted the words, we removed the URL, the, the image, and we inserted those exact same words that we used to make the pattern and we put it into, into, the, into the, uh, the prompt, it didn't nearly get the job done. It kind of put some paint splatter on him. It didn't do it. It looks like just kind of like the paint has been splattered on it, which might be what you're going for. In my case, it took that image and really kind of meshed it with the, the actual suit which is really cool. Yeah, so that's so far the basics of image prompts. We can take a simple thing like this, simple pattern like this, and incorporate it with our, with our character. This is really special. Let's do one more. We can use multiple images in our image prompts. We can put one image URL, another image URL, and that will influence the text prompt. Let's go give that a shot. We can even do more than two images, but let's just start with two. We're going to take the funky pattern and see if we can use that to influence um, this Star Wars poster. And let's open this up and grab the image URL, copy image address. That's the first one. Add a space to make sure they don't touch each other. Again, same thing, copy image URL uh, there. Now let's write colorful, funky, 80s, movie, Star Wars, movie, booster, 8K and rendered, photo, realistic. I'm gonna use version five as I like to use. And I'm gonna try one more thing. If you just bear with me for a second, there's a parameter called chaos. And that basically when you add the value of chaos and make it higher, it will make the, the four initial results more farther apart meaning they're more dis dissimilar. So the higher the value, the more dissimilar, and the lower the value down to zero, and the closer they are. So let's see if we can just play with that. Hope that's not too much to, to chew. Chaos, 80. Okay, what in the world? Okay, let's, let's, let's take off that chaos part. <laughs> let's do the exact same thing and take everything but the chaos. Okay, much better. Um, I like this. These are great. I mean, you've got the lightsabers, you've got Darth Vader in the back, you've definitely got that funky 80s splatter and paint and stuff like that. So these are great. Can you believe it? In just about five or six minutes, we learned all about image prompts. We got to experiment with chaos and tile parameters. There's plenty of fun stuff to do in Midjourney. There's so much experimentation, a lot of trial and error, and, but um, I'd love to be able to do some of that trial and error for you guys and, and uh, shorten the process. Um, if you guys got any interesting ideas or you got um, something you'd like to get stuck at and you want, you want some help, I'd love to reply in the comments down below. Subscribe in order to get notified about the next uh, episodes that are coming out. We're gonna be really trying to push Midjourney and other AI art tools as far as we can together. Talk to you guys soon, bye.